Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Tuesday, January 27, 2015, around 2.07 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. Still snowing like crazy. About three feet of snow have fallen in Berwick, Massachusetts. And the blizzard warning still in effect to 8 p.m. tonight in Eastern Massachusetts, and there's still a travel ban in Eastern and Central Massachusetts. Don't leave your homes to go out on the roads until the travel bans lifted. Some news to report: the WWE Network has reached one million sus subscribers because they added a lot in the UK. And also, goaltender Martin Brodeur announced his retirement from the NHL. Martin Brodeur has won the most games. Than any other goaltender in the NHL history, 692. He won several Vezina trophies. He shut out the most times with over 111. And he's the greatest goaltender of all time. He's going to be an assistant general manager to the St. Louis Blues. And that's about it on that. My next subject is about the San Francisco 49ers dynasty. The San Francisco 49ers have had one of the best dynasties in. NFL history in the Super Bowl era. They won five NFL championship Super Bowl titles between 1981 and 1985. They had a, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, Joe Montana, and they also had another great quarterback, Steve Young. The San Francisco 49ers actually started in 1946 in the old all-American Football Conference, which was kind of a rival to, to the NFL back in the late 40s. They were decent in the AAFC, and they made the playoffs in 1949. The AAFC actually folded, and three of the strongest teams, the Cleveland Browns, the San Francisco 49ers, and the, f the first version of the Baltimore Colts would go into the NFL and the for the next 20 years the San Francisco 49ers were in the NFL but they did not have too much success they were like kind of a mediocre team they only made one playoff appearance 1957 but they were a very tough team what I heard they were competitive but they didn't but they didn't make the playoffs and stuff in 1970 when the AFL and NFL merged they divided the conferences up and the 49ers had kind of good success in 1970 through 1972, winning three NFC West Division titles and actually making it to a couple of NFC title games. But they would get bounced by either the Cowboys or the Vikings. And after from 1973 to 1978, the 49ers were one of the worst teams in the NFL. They were horrible and stuff. But in 1979, their fortunes changed. They got a coach who who was a very a great football coach from Stanford University, Bill Walsh, who was famous for the West Coast offense. And they drafted a quarterback from the University of Notre Dame in the third round of the 1979 NFL Draft. His name is Joe Montana. Joe Montana became one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL history. He's a once-in-a-generation quarterback like Tom Brady is nowadays. And the 49ers' um, fortunes like became more prosperous. They had competitive seasons in 1979 and 1980, which they didn't make the playoffs, but they were on the verge of getting something special. They added a couple of pieces like Dwight Clark and Ronnie Lott to the team in 1981. They won the NFC um, West title and then they faced off against the Cowboys in the NFC title game. And a famous catch happened in that in that game. Joe Montana passed to Dwight Clark and a the 49ers won that game by the score of 28 to 27, winning the NFC Championship game and having um like that was a kind of a turning point for the 49ers to become like a, a team that couldn't that was decent 
to becoming a big winning team. And also that was a game that the 49, I mean the Cowboys, they were coming off a successful run in the 70s that that game started for them to go to the to the decline and bought, I mean, out in the late 80s. And the San Francisco 49ers went into the Super Bowl that year, Super Bowl 16. They beat the Cincinnati Bengals, another Cinderella story, by the score of 26-21, winning their first Super Bowl championship. The 49ers had decent years in 1982 and 1983 and 1984, making the playoffs two out of those three years and doing pretty good. They also picked up another important piece, Roger Craig, a running back. And in 1984, they they won the NFC Championship again in the NFC West title, and they beat the Chicago Bears by the score of 23 to zero in 1984 NFC title game, and then they played the Miami Dolphins in Super Bowl 19. They beat the, the 49ers, beat the Dolphins 38 to 16. Super Bowl 19, that's the only Super Bowl that Dan Marino ever played in. And also, that was the first Super Bowl that ABC Sports televised. And in 1985, the San Francisco 49ers drafted another important piece, which was Jerry Rice. Wide receiver, he became he became the like the best wide receiver in NFL history, and the Forty Niners had some okay years in 1985, 1986, 1987. They made the playoffs at those year, all of those years, but they got bounced in the first round on stuff, and also there was talk that Joe Montana might be leaving the Forty Niners because they got a quarterback from by the name of Steve Young. Steve Young was a great quarterback in Brigham, Brigham Young University and played in the USFL and it was rumors that Joe Montana was on his way out to the of San Francisco and he's, he was suffering some back injury a couple of those years but like a quarterback controversy was brewing but like the 49ers had the struggles in the 1988 season. They were five and six at one point, but like one of the players called a team only meeting and the 49ers just went crazy for the rest of the year. They won another NFC um, division title, West division title, and then they beat the Chicago Bears by a score of 28 to three in the 1988 NFC title game and then they faced off against the Bengals again in a rematch of Super Bowl 16 and they beat the Bengals by the score of 49 I mean by the score of 20 to 16 and so Super Bowl 23 after the game the Bill Walsh announced his retirement from coaching the 49ers and they promoted George Sifa who was a who was an assistant coach for the 49ers to become the new head coach and he picked up where they left off in 1989. Uh, 49ers continue to have a great season, another great season by like Joe Montana, Roger Craig, and Ronnie Lott. And they squeezed through the NFC West title again. They beat the uh, Los Angeles Rams by the score of 30 to three in the NFC title game. And then they murdered the Denver Broncos by the score of 55 to 10 in Super Bowl 24. The 49ers had a great start to the 1990 season. They won top, they won 12 in a row, but they stumbled towards the end of the um, season because they had kind of an aging defense, and also Joe Montana was aging, and there was rumors going around that Coach George Seifert was going to bench Joe Montana. And put in Steve Young, but Steve Young, um, but like Joe Montana answered those critics, and they made it to the 1990 NFC title game, but they were lo they lost to the New York Giants, and then 1991 Joe Montana gets injured, and then Steve Young takes his place, and also Ronnie Lott leaves the the new the 49ers to go to. The Jets and also Roger Craig goes goes um, to the Los Angeles Raiders and uh, the 49ers are like losing depth and stuff and they don't make the playoffs in 1991 and 
1992, Steve Young has a great year, and they eventually get rid of Joe Montana, and the 49ers lose to the Cowboys in the NFC title game in 1993, and again in 1994, and a lot of people were saying that the the 49ers like needed a lot of defensive players and during the 1994 offseason the San Francisco Giants signed a lot of them including Ken Norton Jr. and Bart Oates but the biggest one of all was Deion Sanders they needed defense because they didn't have too much defense and they didn't want to waste um, Steve Young's prime years as a elite quarterback for him not winning the big game they won another NFC division title in 1994 and they beat the Cowboys in the NFC championship game by the score of 38 to 28 in 1994 and then they went on to the Super Bowl and beat the Chargers by the score of 49-26 in Super Bowl 29 that was the last Super Bowl the giant I mean uh, San Francisco 49ers have won to date he made it to 2013, but they lost in Super Bowl 47. And for the next few years, the 49ers continued to be a competitive team, winning a few NFC West titles, but they didn't win any more NFC um, championships. And eventually, Steve Young got, got was aging, and he got hurt, and the... Jerry Rice was aging as well, and the defense they had when they picked won the Super Bowl in twenty, not Super Bowl twenty nine, were just, you know, they were only signed for one year contracts, and then the San Francisco Forty Nine just went through a tailspin when Steve Young retired. For several years they had losing seasons. They only had one winning season, two thousand two, for a division title, but they got bounced in the second round and it took until like 2011 for the San Francisco 49ers to be relevant again and they had they had one of the best dynasties in NFL history in fact Tom Brady grew up um, idolizing the San Francisco 49ers especially Joe Montana that's amazing and the San Francisco 49ers um, didn't make the playoffs this year but you know I think they're going might be playoff bound again next year they have a good quarterback in Colin Cock Paulo and I think he could be the next great elite quarterback and I think I wouldn't be surprised if the 49ers are competing for an NFC title or uh, another Super Bowl and the San Francisco 49ers probably rank up right up there with one of the greatest NFL dynasties of all time in the Super Bowl era and that's about it on that be back later, Facebook friends, YouTube followers, Twitter followers, and daily promotional followers with the third and final video of Blog of the Night. I'll be talking about the Battle of the Network Stars, a TV special that was on ABC from 1976 through 1988. And have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Daily Motion. And be careful out there on the world and in the Northeast because it's still snowing to beat the band. Bye now.